Welcome to the first edition of the Bulldog Newscast. We have a lot of changing this year, but I just want to let you know we got some motivation here from Reagan to get this year started. Adversity is when your back is against the wall and you feel like you can't go anymore. But this week, Bulldogs, I challenge you to punch through your wall and go one more. And now out to Gabe with the car review. Today we have, today we have Zeke's 1978 Chevy Corvette. <laughs> We got the pop-up lights and V8 engine with 270 to 300 horsepower. The way you actually open this car is they got the push down, push down and enter. Furry doors with the leather. We got the, the cranks on the window. It has no trunk, but they got the three compartments right here. Can't get that one. With the battery right there. And this thing, you can pull it out, bring it up like that, just to block the shade in case you got stuff back there. One of my favorite things about this car is it's got the, the gas in the back. It's got the gas cap in the back. The top actually comes off. You just gotta push it up. And this has been it for week one of Car Review. This school year has changed a lot thanks to the coronavirus, but we can make it through it together, Bulldogs. Here are some do's and do nots to say. Miss Emily, Mrs. Emily, can you give us some tips and tricks about how to avoid COVID? Hey guys, this year it's really important for us to do our part and to stay healthy so that we have less contact tracing and less sickness in the school. So things you can do are definitely do some social distancing. Wash those hands. Use the sanitizer when you can't wash your hands. Don't touch things like the handrails. Commonly touch items like doorknobs. Making sure that you're not hugging sick people or staying away from sick people when they are ill. And staying home if you are sick. Now to Joey with the teacher spotlight. Ms. Fott, an interview editor. Mrs. Fott, what are all the classes that you teach? Well, I teach life skills. I teach sewing, I teach creative foods, I teach foods for fitness, I teach child development, and also I teach um, family living. How has the hybrid and social distancing affected all the classes? Well, we've had to reduce down and make smaller kitchens or less people in a kitchen. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to cook as much uh, just because we just won't be here as many days. Um, and we have to try to social distance as we are um, cooking, so that's going to be a challenge. We're just going to start that this week. Um, and it's just too bad that we can't do as much. Should students take your classes? Well, everyone needs to be more independent, right? Learn to, to live on your own. And so, you know, learning how to cook and also learn how um, to make more nutritious meals, um, learning the, the how good nutrition, you know, what nutrition um, will do for your body. Um, also, learning how to do your own laundry um, in child development, we learn pa uh, parenting skills um, and you, we just learn all the different aspects of um, uh, as a child develops and, and the importance of taking good care of uh, children to have strong families and learn communication skills and also how to um, deal with conflict in a family. For tonight's game, it's going to be sunny with a high of 81 and a low of 57. For Saturday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 63. And for Sunday, it's going to be a chance of thunderstorms with a high of 77 and a low of 57.
Last Friday, the Bulldogs beat Elvis Jefferson with great fashion on our military appreciation night and our homecoming with the final being 45 to six. The girls cross country team on Saturday finished fifth overall while the boys finished second. Tomorrow they travel to Van Wert. Last Thursday, the volleyball team fell to Crestview three sets to zero. Good luck this Monday against Shawnee, ladies. Last Thursday in soccer, the Lady Dogs lost to Bluffton 4-1. to one. Good luck this Thursday at Continental. This upcoming week is our Spirit Week. On Monday, it's Patriot Day, so dress in your red, white, and blue. Tuesday is Sweats Day. Wednesday is Class Color Competition with the seniors wearing red, juniors gray, sophomores white, freshmen pink, 8th grade blue, 7th grade yellow, and staff black. Thursday is Flannel Day. And Friday is Bulldog Day. We've added a new segment featuring good news. This week we're featuring cute and funny dogs. Our Bulldog newscast will be featuring some ads. Check out this ad for Always Right Driving School. Want more freedom and flexibility? Always Right Driving School helps you to get on the road to success. Driving lessons from a local and reliable school will give you and your family peace of mind when it comes to driving on your own for the first time. Engaging experiences virtually or in the classroom helps students to be defensive, safe, and educated drivers. One-on-one -on -one driving time helps you to sharpen and develop your driving skills. Your search for the right driving school is over. Visit www.alwaysrightdrivingschool.com for more information. That's it for this week's episode. Stay healthy and have a great weekend, Bulldogs.